Hey, Ben Kaiser here, and thanks for tuning in to this episode on learning the basics of Adobe InDesign. Today, we're gonna to learn how to use guides in both the master pages and your regular pages. And this is a super helpful technique in making sure that all of your objects are aligned correctly. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I would highly encourage you to do so. We release new videos six days per week, and we release tutorials weekly. So make sure you subscribe and hit the like button, and that helps us out tremendously. All right, so right now we're gonna jump over to my screen and we're gonna check out how to use guides in Adobe InDesign. All right, welcome on over to my screen here now with the uh, Adobe InDesign, how to create guides. And it's pretty simple. You're just gonna come up here and go to layout. And then you're gonna click create guides and you're gonna get this dialog box. Now, the reason you wanna create guides is because we're trying to line things up. Adobe InDesign is a fantastic workhorse and incredible program on laying out your documents because this is where you want to produce your business cards, your magazines, your brochures, your advertisements. You wanna take all the content that you've produced in either Photoshop or Illustrator, and you wanna bring it in here and send it to production, whether that be in a digital ebook as well, or printing things actually in paper. So you just set up your guides, and you can actually put a preview here. As you see, it's already selected. We're just gonna add some guides and you see them start to pop up and then we can do some width. And the way I'm getting from different box to box is either tab or I can go back by hitting tab shift. So I wanna make my guides a little bit thinner. So we're just gonna bring that down a little bit and then we'll go over to this one and we'll bring that one down a little bit. There was a little less space in between. And also you see an option here, you can set it to the margins or you can set it to the full page. And I usually do the margins because I always want to leave room for the printed versions of my documents. And we'll just click OK. All right, now from there, I can change my, the way my guides show up. I can hide my guides. I can show them. And if you notice right now, I can move my guides. I hit Command-Z, I'll put that back. So if I don't want my guides to be movable, I'll come down here to Grids and Guides and I'll click Lock Guides. Now I can't move them, I can't touch them. So no matter what I do, my guides will be sure to stay in place. So we'll unlock those for now. All right, now say you have a multiple page document and you wanna put guides on every single page. So how do we do that? Because I don't wanna to come to each page and add the exact same guides on every single page. That would be very time consuming, but they're still here. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete these guides from this page, like so. Just hit the delete key. And we're going to come up to a master page. So up here in the pages. And we're going to select both pages by clicking shift. And then we're going to come up to layout, create guides. And we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. As you see, the guides are being created on both pages because we have both pages highlighted. And we'll create our guides, make the margins a little narrower, and we wanna do it to the margin. And then we'll hit OK. Now, when we go back into our main page of our document, we have guides on every single page really helpful and super handy because now every time I create a new page I continue to have my guides on the page which is very helpful and if you ever want to alter your guides you just come back up to the master page and say you know I want to have it here now then I go back down and it's shifted it all right say we want to get rid of this section of guides throughout the entire document Boom, done. The entire document now is clear of that guide. But don't forget that it's on your master page or else that'll get you really frustrated. So make sure you always remember what you've done on your master pages. So now we'll just click delete guides, go back down, and our pages are officially clear. Hey, I'm Benji Kaiser, and if this video has helped you at all, please hit the like button. Also, if there's any other types of InDesign tutorials or techniques you want to learn, comment below and let us know, and we'll definitely make those for you. Please subscribe to this channel. You don't want to miss out on the future content as we're releasing weekly videos on Adobe tutorials and other videos six days per week. I'm Benji Kaiser, BenjiKaiser.com.